Looks like an order just came in for a 12 lead ECG for Mr. Marcus. Okay, I'm gonna make sure the machine's working properly. Make sure I have all my electrodes. Make sure it's adequate paper. And we'll go ahead and enter the data when Mr. Marcus comes in. Let's go calm. Mr. Marcus? Yeah. How's it going, sir? Pretty good. Good. Um, before we begin, I'd like to identify you. Could I please get your date of birth? It's your 5-21-94. Okay. And your first name? Ricardo. Ricardo? Hi. Yeah. My name is Edgar. I'm the ECG tech. The doctor ordered a 12 lead ECG for you. We'd like to do that if that's okay with you. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to need you to put on this gown. That way we can work on your chest. Is that okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm going to be providing you some privacy, and I'll be right back. Right. So you, before you begin any procedure, you always want to make sure you wash your hands. You want to make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds with warm water. That way we protect from spreading any kind of germs. Make sure you want to use soap and wash in between your fingers. Do circles around your palm to get any dust, germs, or anything out of your nails. Make sure you turn off the faucet with the paper towel so you won't get germs on your hands again. And we're all good. Let's go see our patient. Hello. What's up? How's it going, Mr. Marquez? Pretty good. You're doing good? Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Edgar. We're going to be running the 12 lead ECG. Do you have any questions for me before we begin? Yeah, I got a couple of questions. How long is it going to be? Because I got to go over. It should only take around like 30 minutes or so. Uh, what your hands? Because they're man. Yes, sir. I washed them right before I came into the room. Yeah. I question about the machine, man. This kid okay. looks dangerous. I'm looking at them. It looks scary. Like, you want to try to do something to me? Uh, no, we're just going to be looking at electrical activity at your heart. They don't do any kind of shocking or anything. Okay? Uh, that's fine, man. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this started. You want to protect your back? I'm going to be raising the bed, okay? And then I'm going to enter all the information into the machine. So can I get your first name one more time? It is Ricardo. Okay. And your last name? Marcus. Okay. And your date of birth? 0 Okay. And are you on any medications? Nah, any medication. Okay. And what is the reason you're here visiting us today? I was running, man. I got palpitation in my heart. Okay. Really busy at the moment. And from a scale of one to ten, what pain were you feeling? It was seven. Uh, I'm like a five now. A seven and a five. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna check your your ID to make sure you're the correct patient. Okay. So verify it. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Before we begin, we're gonna make sure we put on our gloves. And then we'll start putting these electrodes on there. So we're going to be uncovering your chest area. So I'll make sure I provide you some privacy, okay? All right. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to be putting these stickies, two on your arms, some on your chest, and then two on your legs, okay? So we'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, so I'm going to be placing my leads right here, make sure they don't get lost. Um, do you have any electrical equipment on you, sir? Like a cell phone? Oh. Okay, I'm going to be placing this over here next to our printer. That way it won't interfere with the well, electricity from this. this the first time okay, like. I'll be putting it here on the printer, okay? Whoa. Right there where you could see it. And we'll give it back to you right when the test is over, okay? Okay, I want to make sure the bed isn't touching the wall. This could interfere with the electricity also. Seems to be okay. We'll go ahead and get started with the procedure. We don't want to make sure we clean our patients with alcohol. We want to prep the area. We're going to be uncovering the chest. Make sure you keep your patient covered at all times. 
Okay, sir, this might feel a little bit cold to you, okay? I'm just trying to clean the area before we place the electrodes. This doesn't hurt me, man. That's... We're not gonna hurt I'm you. I'm gonna punch you, right? I don't wanna scare you, but it's the dream. <laughs> You'll be fine, sir. Okay? Right. You wanna clean by the fourth intercostal space all the way to the sixth intercostal space. Make sure you keep your patient covered at all times. You doing okay, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Once we have our patient cleaned, we're going to place our electrodes. So I'm going to be explaining the lead placement, okay? So V1, you want to place on the fourth intercostal space right of the sternal border. This, this is your sternal border, and this is the right. You want to make sure you feel to make sure where the fourth intercostal space is. That's right here. V2, you want to place on the fourth intercostal space left of the sternal border, that'd be V1, V2. We're gonna skip V3 and then come back to it. For V4, you wanna place it on the fifth intercostal space at the mid clavicular line. This would be your way from here to down here. We're gonna go back to V3 and we're gonna place it halfway between V2 and V4, which would be this one. We're gonna move down. V5 will be placed at the anterior axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4. That'd be right here, horizontal. V6 will be placed on the mid axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4. These are all placed on the same line. And we're all set. Make sure you keep your patient covered. That way we won't show anything, okay? And we're all set here on the chest. Let's move to his arms. I'm gonna be rolling up your sleeve, okay? Yep. You wanna place it on the same level on both hands. Make sure you don't place it on any burns or any bruising. Okay, so I'm replacing this one going up or going down, I'm sorry. And this one going down as well. Okay, make sure they stick and let's move down to his legs. I'm gonna be uncovering your legs, okay? Yeah, I'm good. You want to roll up his legs and you want to try to put it on the inside of the legs facing up. We do this so it's easier and there is no pulling on our leads. Make sure you put them on the same level as well. Okay, and we're all ready to set our leads. Okay, so we're ready to attach our leads. You want to place this on the middle of your patient's chest, make sure you don't hit your patient and make sure you connect your wires correctly. You will have your two rights, put them on the right side, and your two lefts. We wanna attach these first so we can keep our patient covered. Make sure there's no pulling or tugging on your wires. Let's go ahead and attach these. I'm gonna be uncovering your chest, okay, sir? Right. Place V3 on V3, V1, V2, then you want to place V4, then we're going to be placing V5, and V6 finally. Some of your leads may come loose, just make sure you reattach them. And then keep your patient covered. We're placing the left side first. Black goes on top, and the red will go on the bottom. We'll place that one just right now. We'll be putting the right arm, which is white, and green will be the legs. Let's move down. We're going to be rolling up his leg one more time. Red will go on his left side. And green will be going on his right side. Okay, 
Once we have these all connected, we can go and take a look at our machine. Make sure there's no artifact on your machine. Make sure there's no pulling on your wires. You need to be okay and keep your patient covered. And finally, we're gonna run this test. Make sure to take deep breaths, sir, and stay as calm as possible. Okay, and we're running it. And it's printing. You're doing fine, sir? Yeah. We're almost done. Okay, and we want to go in places at the patient's chart. Go ahead and place it right here and remove your leads, okay? Hey, I got a question. Can I keep one of that? Um, you can get a copy from medical records, and that will be from your doctor, okay? So you can tell me what I have? Cause uh, no, goodness. sir. The doctor will be telling you exactly his interpretation. I'm not allowed to. as just a tech. Okay? Whatever. I'm going to be removing these, okay? You want to make sure you keep your stickies on your paper, that way you won't lose them or be sticking all over the place. Make sure you grab all of them. Keep your patient covered. Get that last one. You okay, sir? Yeah, it's full of oh, when a patient is really hairy or has <laughs> hairy legs, you want to make sure you shave him because maybe that will cause interference with your leads. And we're going to be cleaning these leads in a second. Keep your patient covered. Okay, we're all done, sir. I'll be right back to bring your clothes, okay? All right. You want to go place it in the patient's chart and toss your old leads. Mr. Marcus? Yeah. Were you all done dressing, sir? Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir? Okay, yeah. so we're all done with the test. So I'm just going to be helping you go out, okay? Yeah, sure. Let's go right this way. Okay, and your exit's going to be right this way. Okay, so you have a good day, okay? You too. And then we're going to be taking our patient's chart to the doctor so he can interpret it. Let's go. Okay, so let's just go ahead and Put the room just like how we found it and clean the machine. You know, make sure you turn off the machine and place it on a safe area where you found it and you want to clean your leads. We're going to be using alcohol to clean our leads one by one. We do this to stop the prevent of spread of germs. We just want to clean these good. Okay, we're gonna place this how we found it and throw away any trash that we used. We wanna make sure our patients have an excellent experience with us. That concludes our video.